Did you know that Dunkin' Donuts came out with cookie dough flavored coffee? Because it's delicious. Hey guys, it's Devin. Today we're going to be talking about updating your lipstick collection. And I often find myself like wanting to buy every single lipstick in the world because I didn't get into lip products until like August, September, even you know later than that. Because back in high school I didn't really wear lip products that much unless it was like red lipstick on occasion, stuff like that. So I really, really got into it once I got to school. I'm just going to let this siren pass. And I've been buying so many lipsticks now and I just, I often find myself in a rut and like I'm using the same like four or five lipsticks that are like my favorites and you know I'm always wanting to buy new lipsticks and like try different things and then I kind of like put two and two together and found out some ways to kind of update my lipstick collection without actually buying a ton of new colors. So I'm talking about things like mixing lipsticks, um, using uh, liners, and you know changing textures of your lipstick. I'm gonna go through all these different ones and like show you examples from my collection that I do, and you know just kind of get the creative juices flowing. The first point that I'm going to talk about is mixing, and there are a ton of different products, different ways, different methods you can use to mix lipsticks, and um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna. The first thing that I want to talk about is black and white lipstick. So these are my black and white lipsticks. These are the NYX Macaroon lipsticks, which you can still buy off of their website, and I do recommend them, um, if only for this purpose. This is, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Chambord, Shim, Shim, Chambord, I'm sure it's some fancy word that I don't know how to say. And then Coconut is the white one, and they also have a gray one, which I do suggest, but I did not buy. I think it's called Black Sesame. But I do have another gray lipstick, which is the MAC Gray Friday, which I got. My mom got it for me for Christmas a few years ago. It was like on sale on Black Friday with like a matching nail polish. But it's just like a sheer shimmery gray. This is the most basic way to kind of alter your lipsticks. So using the white is obviously going to make it lighter. Using the black is going to make it darker. And the gray is kind of like, it makes it darker, but not as it's not as impactful as the black which is nice sometimes if you just want it to be like a little bit darker but you don't want to get really crazy with it so there's the white lipstick there is the gray lipstick and there is the black lipstick well the white one is a lot more pigmented than the other two but it's especially good to actually have a more sheer black or gray lipstick because it makes it easier to blend in with another color because you can see it's really creamy and it spreads out easy so it's actually a good thing that it's sheer because you can blend it easier, easily. <laughs> now I'm just going to show you a few of the mixes from my collection using the black and white lipsticks. We're starting out with NYX's Butter Lipstick and Pops in their white macaroon lipstick. And here you can just see a subtle difference in the mixed shade. This is NYX's Butter Lipstick in Licorice and their White Macaroon Lipstick. And here you can see a much larger difference in the mix shade. Last is Hikari's Cabernet and NYX's Black Macaroon Lipstick. And here you can see the black kind of tones down the red shade and just darkens it up a little bit. The next way to mix your lipsticks, and this one is also super basic, is to just mix the shades that you have. But once you kind of build up a more solid collection of different, you know, different types of nudes, different finishes, all sorts of different shades with different undertones, um, you can just basically mix any two lipsticks that you want. However, there is something to mention about just straight up mixing lipsticks is you have to keep in mind the texture of the lipstick. A liquid lipstick like this one. Um, this is the Sephora Luster Matte Lip Cream, which I'll show you guys mixed with something later on in the video. And um, just to take, for example, like this NYX Butter Lipstick. This is a much more glossy and creamier lipstick than this. This is very drying. It's matte. These will not mix as well together as just mixing two mattes or mixing two glossy or creamier lipsticks. That being said, there are a few exceptions to that rule. Mixing lipsticks, matte lipsticks that are actually in a tube like this, is going to be a lot easier to mix with creamy lipsticks. 
and also you're going to have to layer it and you're going to have to put the matte shade down first because the matte one will not lay over the gloss as well. And now I'm just going to show you a few of the mixtures that I created within my collection just to give you guys a few ideas of, you know, how it actually mixes together. First up we have Maybelline's Rum Riche, which is the browner shade, and Lime Crime's Coquette, which is just a pale nude. And these um, mix together, you know, like you can see. Next is Lime Crime's Utopia Velveteen and Sephora's Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in Fig Luster. And I mixed these two on a plate, and I will explain why later. But you can see the two shades alone on the side and the mixed in the middle. And then this is what it looks like on the wrist. And last, I have NYX's Soft Matte Lip Creams in Athens and Prague. And then you can see how these colors mix together. There are different ways to mix the lipsticks. So for example, with the um, two matte lipsticks that I mixed together, um, it's easier to use these on a palette or on a paper plate um, because it does not, these dry super quickly or like they dry a lot faster and putting it on your skin or trying to mix it on your lips is just not going to create a like a seamless kind of blend it's going to be a lot easier to do it on another product and then paint it on your lips with a lip brush typically with my glossier lipsticks or my tube lipsticks um, I basically just mix those actually on my lips or you can also do it on your hand and then apply it that way or with a palette but I typically just do it with the tubes straight onto my lips because it just creates an easier, like a faster and you don't make as much of a mess and stuff like that. So The next way to um, kind of update your lipstick collection is with liners and this is not limited to just lip liners. I also use eyeliners and um, that's it basically. Just pencil liner, pencil eyeliners and pencil lip liners. I am not a big lip liner person. It is just not super high up on my list of like products that I like to buy. You know, I'll buy some every once in a while, but typically I just um, use a lip primer under my lipsticks. However, liners are very good for um, changing lipsticks. So just having a few basic shades um, will really help you kind of be able to customize your lip colors to however way, however way. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those days. <laughs> I don't have a lot of lip liners and half of them aren't even lip liners. So I have like a red, did something? I think something just exploded out there. Some of these I bought to go with exact shades, like I bought this BH Cosmetics lip liner to match the Lime Crime Utopia Velveteen, only it's a little more purple, which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Brown nude liner, a more neutral light pink nude liner. These are just like my most important ones, they're not like all of mine, I have a few more but I don't really use them much. And then I have three shades of brown eyeliner. These are all Urban Decay 24-7 liners. And um, I just use these to make my lipsticks pull a little more brown. The other great thing about lip liners is you can actually mix lip liners themselves. And um, you can mix them, you can layer them. And when you do mix or layer them, I highly recommend using chapstick because these liners are very drying and it's easier to mix them and to make them look more hydrating and just better on your lips. It creates better texture if you use some chapstick with it. But I'll just show you a few liner combinations with lipsticks and just liner combinations with just different um, eye and lip liners. First up is the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Faint and the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Athens. Then you can see them side by side and mix together at the bottom. And here is the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in Berry Red and the Lime Crime Lipstick in Coquette. And then there you can see them side by side and swatched together at the bottom. Next up is two liners, the Sephora Nano Liner in Native Nude and the Urban Decay Liner in Faint. And you can see Native Nude on the top and then Faint and then them mixed together with some chapstick on the bottom. And then we have the NYX Lip Liner in Pale Pink and the Wet n Wild Berry Red Liner. And then you can see the red liner on the top, pale pink, and then those mixed together with chapstick on the bottom as well. And the last way that I'm going to talk about today is um, 
altering the texture of the lipstick. So basically there are virtually three different types of textures. There's like matte, there's um, glossy, and there's satin. Well, there, there are more but that's just what we're going to talk about today. And satin is kind of like in the middle of glossy and matte. So the mix is if you are taking a glossy or a satin shade, you can apply translucent you can use translucent powder to mattify it. This is just the um, Be A Bombshell Smooth Criminal Powder. It's basically just straight up silica. Um, NYX makes a version. I'm pretty sure that Rimmel makes a pressed version if that's what you're into. But this is definitely a super awesome tool because if you have any lipsticks and you just either want to change the difference or you just really prefer the look of matte and the like lasting power, you can definitely, you could do this over almost any lipstick except for like an actual lip gloss. And I'll show you guys two examples of that now. First I'm just going to mattify ColourPop's Lippy Sticks in Frida. And for this one I showed you what the powder looks like in the cap and then a fast forward of me actually patting the powder on the bottom swatch to mattify it. And then this is what it looks like matte compared to its shiny partner. And now we have Urban Decay's Lipstick and Liar, and I'm not sure why I picked so such similar colors, but, you know, there's the swatch of its normal version and how it slides, and then how the matte one compares. On the opposite end of the spectrum, if a color is matte, you can also make it shiny. So you can do this with either just chapstick if you just want a more kind of like satiny finish, just like with more shine so it's not super drying. Um, or you can do this with clear lip gloss, which I actually hate lip gloss. Like I just, I don't like sticky stuff on my lips, so I don't have a clear lip gloss to be able to show you guys, but I'll show you guys two examples with a chapstick now. So the first example is my Lime Crime Utopia Velveteen and my chapstick from The Body Shop. And then here on the top, you can see the chapstick part compared to the matte on the bottom. And now I have NARS's matte lip pencil in Cruella. And then again, on the top, you can see what it looks like with the chapstick over it compared to the bottom. And the last thing that's kind of texture related, kind of mixing related, but I'll just go ahead and slip it in here, is you can sheer out lipsticks with chapstick or with, you know, any type of lip balm. But what you can do is apply a little bit of your lipstick and then apply lip balm over it to kind of spread it out and it creates a sheerer color. So if you have a super vibrant color and you kind of just want to tone it down, you can definitely do that with lip balm. Um, but this is the same thing with the mattes, it's not going to work as well with a liquid matte lipstick as it is with just a straight up tube of lipstick. And I'll be using Hikari Cabernet to show you guys how to sheer out the lipstick. So on the top you'll just see a solid swatch of Cabernet by itself and then what it looks like blended out with a little bit of chapstick. So these are just a few of the ways you can kind of alter your lipstick collection. These are certainly not the only ways to do this, however these are my favorite things, they're um, not super expensive and you can kind of just pull things out of your collection or buy you know, one or two products to kind of be able to help, you know, do this process. Like, Let me know down below what your favorite combination was, um, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions feel free to leave them down below. Please like this video, go check out my other videos, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel because it makes me happy. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you can like me on Facebook, or check out my blog. All of those links will be in the description bar down below, as well as at the end of the video. Thank you guys for being here, and I'll see you next time. Like when you make yourself have no neck, just basically. Oh my, oof, I look like I've been fat boost, but this is, this is just who I am, you know, this is just...